Hey folks, it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera. I've been behind the camera editing your videos and making sure things uh, come off okay for the Top Affiliate Challenge. But today we thought we'd take a little bit of a break, head over to the Shoeplex, talk with uh, our good buddy Shoe Money, a guru from the uh, show Top Affiliate Challenge, and kind of get his impression on where he thinks the, the top 10 falls, who he'd like on his team, who he doesn't want, uh, and maybe uh, you know who he would really rally for uh, that's not in the top 25 right now to get there. So. Take a look at what Chew Money has to say. I think you're going to be pretty interested. One thing I was asked was to actually go through each one and say whether or not I would want them on my team. And, you know, I just had to, I just have to say that I, I don't see anyone that I would not want on my team. Um, it would be pretty hard. Uh, I mean, I, I almost would rather have, you know, people that, you know, pe people that, I would rather almost have people vote and give me the complete people that they don't think would make it work, and then when we win, you know, we just rub it in their face that much more. So I really like to be the underdog. I really like a challenge. Um, but on the other end, I mean, there's a, a lot of talented people here. So I think any of the coaches will be pretty evenly matched. I don't think – I'm sure John Chow will whine because he's a whiner uh, when he loses. But um, I'm sure that, you know, it, it looks like there's a good uh, – mix of talent here and I think that we'll all have a great team. Schumann started off by talking about Ty Hurd's video. It was the spoof of Mythbusters. Pretty entertaining video I thought. Let's see what Jeremy had to say. All right this first video Ty Hurd. Um, it's very creative the whole Mythbusters thing. I can see why it's number one. You know a lot of people like it. It seems good. Um, I was really impressed with this kid uh, until I read like some of his rants about how I endorse other people and um, I was a little confused by that. It seems a little emotional. So, you know, I think that's a negative side. So positive, I think Ty is uh, very creative. Negatives, um, you know, it, it'll remain to be seen. Maybe he doesn't come off as emo as uh, he sounds in the forum. Next, Jeremy took a look at uh, Big Jason Henderson. There was a little bit of a controversy, as you might know. Uh, Shoe Money actually endorsed Big Jason in a video endorsement. Horrible audio quality. I don't know what the heck happened to that. But uh, he endorsed him. And some contestants eh, didn't like that so much, Poe. You might want to listen up real close because here's what Shoe Money has to say about Big Jason. Uh, Big Jason Henderson currently in number two. Um, I made a little video endorsing him. And, and basically the reason was is because I've seen him perform. Um, I've talked to him a lot. I've emailed him. I've known him a little bit. And um, he's super aggressive, um, which is kind of a positive and a negative. Um, I think that I definitely would want him on my team, um, as I said in the video. Um, also, as I said, you know, he's, he's, I think his biggest asset is that he is, he is so aggressive. And if there's something out there, you know, he's not afraid to ask anyone to do anything or even to be that extra tone to push them into, you know, doing what they might be. Now, that said, you know, I think he also, that could work as a negative because some people just don't like that. Well, because I keep thinking, like, is he saying he's going to kill his cats if you don't vote for him? Look at his eyes. He has, like, these eyes that are like, you better vote for me or I'm going to stab you in the head. That is a freaking sexy guy right there. Jonathan Van Kloot. Um, Jonathan was, uh, he's the paper, he's the, um, got a lot of experience in pay-per-click, I believe. Um, it seems like he's got, a, you know, just a lot of experience and seems like almost one of the most experienced people um, in the business. Now, experience always doesn't translate, especially with the limited time frame that we have. Um, I don't know that he'll be able to, you know, really teach a lot of his, you know, peers and, and whatnot from his experience. And it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, definitely... You know, I can't say looking at this list that there's anyone, well, maybe, we'll see. So, but the, uh, basically, Jonathan seems like a creative guy who, uh, well, maybe even lacks a little creative creativity, but his video is pretty creative. But um, definitely, I think he's, his high ends are in his experience, which kind of will remain to be seen. So, it's a lot of talk. Trainer.com here again on a beautiful this guy work at Burger King like part-time with the headset one of things of course about working for yourself and especially about working online is that you get to work from home 
or really from anywhere in the world that you want to work. You can call your own shots on your own schedule, do your thing when you want. So if you feel like you're he's kind of a, a very really smooth talker, though, and that, uh, you, uh, you want seems to like he's out pretty solid. Of the, uh, the standard workforce, then I highly recommend that uh, you look into starting a business. Dot com, a nice major auto blah, blah, blah. Here's brand. my screenshots of how well, I made lots of money. Is, uh, if I open up the campaign here, we'll Actually, he gives, he gives like a I've really good and, tip on how to get uh, great body sports. So have to have a and it was time to uh, throw on our blonde wigs and take a look and see what Devin Hunter had to say and what Jeremy thought of it. Devin Hunter. Uh, the guy that just comes off kind of weird, to be honest. So, you know, it would be interesting to meet him in person and actually see, you know, if he's got some substance there, you know, beyond just making weird videos. I prosecutor Lad Car Orman as representative. Weird. And let's cry it. They want straight answers about the top affiliate challenge fraud and cheating. Now, so this is the guy that got busted for cheating. What does network marketing have to do with the top affiliate challenge? This is kind of like a cross between deliverance. Now answer my question. And Ever I don't know what that is. What did Jeremy have to say about Tom the Furry Hat Guy? Uh, Tom the Furry Hat Guy, I think it's pretty funny. Shows creativity. Um, you know, he's moving up. He's currently in fifth place. I uh, I think he's I think he's pretty funny. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll just see if he, uh, experience-wise and stuff like that, you know, guys like that are always a wild card. So, you know, it, whether or not he can make money and follow directions and work with the team, uh, we'll see. That's creative. I can't, I can't even bust on him for the hat. It's totally like the, the whole mystery thing with the, like the, the what's that show, the, uh, the dating show, the, uh, the pickup artist. He wears like the crazy hat. That's good. That's a good one. Now all the way from across the pond we have Johnny Gafur in his video. Jeremy spent some time watching this one because I think he's a big Gladiator fan. But uh, let's see what he had to say about the parts that weren't from another person's movie. So with Johnny, I was under, I've been told that he has rescheduled his family vacation. It cost him you know thousands of dollars to do that. And um, I think that shows dedication, which is a, a major plus in my thing. You know, some of the most important things to me are, like, work ethic, just basic stuff, because the rest of the stuff you can teach. So, um, but if somebody doesn't have work ethic and can work well with others and stuff like that, then it's just not going to fly. So I think Johnny, um, I like him because he's, I like he, he's, he's cocky, we're cocky. So I, I work well with other cocky, uh, competitive people that are, aren't afraid to uh, let their opinions fly. He kind of reminds me of Ali G a little bit. Toning it down a notch, we have the Nebraska native son, Jonathan Ryan. The surprise entry to the top ten. Uh, no one's really sure exactly how he got here or how he's driving his traffic, but uh, needless to say, the votes are have him in place, and he is holding strong midway through the pack. What does Jeremy have to say about the guy from his home state? All right, next we have Jonathan Ryan. Let's see, my notes on Jonathan Ryan, um, he was the guy who put the donut in the toilet and um, made it look like doo-doo and then ate it. Um, that's pretty creative. i got to give him props for that. And obviously it went pretty viral. And um, so I like creative people. He seems like a, a decent guy. Um, you know, I, I think he's, he's probably going to do well on the show and probably will be uh, one of the class clowns or so. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, yeah, it's it's not a poop, but it's still in the toilet. Seriously. Uh, whatever you gotta do, though. Good, good. It's freaking disgusting.